Hello, I'm Piers Corbyn from weatheraction.com, long range weather and climate forecasters, and I'm part of the Climate Sense campaign and the uh, campaign to repeal the Climate Act of the United Kingdom. And I'm going to talk now about the current state in the politics of the climate wars. Um, first of all, as you know, there is no evidence whatsoever in history that carbon dioxide changes drive changes in world temperatures or climate. And the global warmers have never produced any evidence whatsoever to that effect. All they've done is try to produce fraudulent evidence for recent years. But the current time we're in is very interesting because the global warmer said 10 years ago to expect more droughts and mild snow-free winters in Britain and uh, large parts of America. And what do we have? We have floods in Queensland, floods in Brazil, floods in Sri Lanka, massive blizzards and snow over the whole of, uh, of uh, Asia and, uh, and, and Britain, northern, northern Asia, I mean, and Britain, and huge snowfalls in America at record levels. So the global warmers say, don't worry, cold means warm. Now, this is complete, utter nonsense. Let's be clear. There's no evidence for their theory, and all their predictions for the last 10 years have failed. Failed, finished, gone. Now, that means they're not worth a light. The theory is zero. It should be jettisoned, absolutely. But there are billions of pounds riding on it, carbon trading, taxation, and so on. So they are working over time to convince you of things which are not true. Now, if it was just a game, it wouldn't matter. But of course, it costs lives. Um, their failures to build dams in Australia is cause, cause trouble. Their, their belief in global warming, warmest forecast for the winters in, 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 Amer in Britain and Europe has caused, caused trouble and more deaths on the roads which aren't salted and so on. Uh, massive uh, price rises in fuel, uh, uh, which uh, include a lot of taxation in order to pay for wind farms, which are really just prayer wheels for the 21st century Western economies. Uh, or Western exploiters uh, in the form of banks and, and carbon traders are, are just a nonsense and a shame. The cost to the British economy alone or for these green policies is £18 billion a year, which is about equivalent to the amount of money the government wants to cut from all social spending. And the cost in the American economy and European economies are very similar. Um, this uh, December, the actual weather costs the British economy about 0.5% of production, and the figures for America uh, and Europe would, would be similar. So the weather is important economically, and it's important to get the forecast right. And it is time now we have a world recession for the governments of the world to get rid of this global warming nonsense and actually respect the needs of their voters and use forecasts which can help people economically. So join with us to stop the carbon con and repeal these climate change madness acts all around the world. Thank you.